Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. Yeah. Wake up, wake up. Wake up, wake up. Now, now we've got pro, now we've got the direction, and now we know what's going on. Um, episode two was to me nice. It was it was a great episode. We figured out who Layla was, who was calling him on the cell phone earlier. We figured out that's his wife. We knew it would be an acquaintance or something of his. You know, we knew this. So, that was nothing to um, be surprised about. <laughs> so, basically, he figured out about um, Layla after he um, talked to her and stuff. But um, we also figured out that... Um, that um, Mark Spector and the Moon God can't think of his name Contra or Concha or Kocha I can't think of his name but the Moon God basically have possessed not possessed yeah possessed it um possessed um Steve's body um Steve is basically a guy who feels like yo this is my job this is what I do. Steve was a cover for Mark to get away. They Mark used him because he didn't want the Moon God to take his wife Layla because she want he wants to basically use her as a vessel because he sees no use in using um Mark anymore because Mark wants to be done with them all together entirely. He don't want to deal with them no more. But the Moon God basically is saying, "Nah, you got to deal with me." Or I'm going to take somebody you won't like. Which, referring to his wife. Now, we figured out that um, that little gold thing he had, it released like a beetle or something. I think what it does, it leads you to some place, a certain place or something. That's what I'm taking from it. Which would be interesting to see where they go with it. The guy with the long hair basically is the leader of a cult. He's trying to resurrect the um, crocodile god. I mean, with a, with a lady who looks like a crocodile trying to um, resurrect her. And basically, Steve was thinking, no, nah, this ain't a good idea. Now, um, he doesn't want Mark to take control because he knows if Mark takes control... He might not ever come back. So he was, you know, he had to in that situation because Layla was going to get hurt. He was going to get hurt. But he was going to give up Layla. But Layla came, which I don't know why she came there. That was the dumbest thing I ever. She should have stayed where she was at. But I guess she wanted to um, be close to her husband. So she was close to him. <laughs> And they um, basically were going through trying to get rid of it. But the guy with long hair basically is controlling everybody. Probably under some type of hypnotism. But um, this was a good episode. Um, the, he was in the locker. He found out who Mark was. Mark Spector and all this. You know. And Steve is, is you know, Steve, he turned in. Now, this is interesting. When he turned into the um, Moon Knight, he basically had the um, the regular suit. He had the suit on, the suit and tie, and he was looking fresh, looking real dapper. <laughs> but then when he went to Mark, he had the cape and everything. So basically, each identity, each personality basically, because you have the Moon God personality, and then you have Mark, and then you have um, Steve. So you got three personalities. So one of those personalities, you know, they can switch up in a different form. I guess Mark is the more reckless and jump into um, 
action type of guy, so he's gonna be with the with the cape on, the hoodie cape. Whereas Steve, he basically is the more calm one, the more, you know, not too sure of himself right now, but I think down the line, we're gonna see both of them start to work together. You know, Steve hates it because Steve is seeing what Mark go, what he went through, like when the roles were reversed. You know, the roles were reversed, so we was, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> this is interesting. So, now the guy with the, um, the long hair, the bad guy, I'm not the bad guy, but I don't believe in that good guy, bad guy bullshit. Um, the guy with the long hair basically, um, says, hey, well, this is what we're gonna do. <laughs> he basically said, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna, um, you know, we're gonna, um, I'm gonna have to take this from you, but I could offer you food and clothing and all that stuff. He took it from him and basically said, just took his life. So I guess when he grabs people's hands, it depends on what they're filled with, what type of spirit they're filled with or something. If it's bad, then he kills them. I don't know it, that how that thing worked. I, I didn't really read the Moon Knight um, comic books and stuff, but people just told me how great it was, so I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you at all, man. Great series so far. The first two episodes are way better than Hawkeye. I don't even know why they put Hawkeye out. They should have did it as Ronin. But I guess they were trying to um, introduce the chick as a new Hawkeye. Because I thought it was going to be his daughter, but they was like, nah, they finna go with, the, um, with this new chick. I was like, okay. I remember her character, but I was like, oh, God. She's annoying. She was annoying in the comic book, just like she annoying now. But, um, yeah. You know, what you guys think of Moon Knight so far? You know, let me know what you think about it. You know, I think it's a great show. I think it's going to be good, you know. I think it's very interesting. Got some loopholes, you know. We'll figure some things out. When it get to the third episode, after we see the third episode, I'm going to do a stream yard. We're going to talk about um, the series, how you like it so far, if you like it at all. Because <laughs> you know you're going to have a couple people be like, it's alright. <laughs> it always is. But um, it seems like those jackals... He resurrects those jackals from the um that the crocodile that, that crocodile looking lady. And she gives him the power so he's able to um release those um jackals or whatever. And and we find out something interesting. Only Moon Knight can see them. It's there, but only Moon Knight can see it. Nobody else can see it. So it looks like Moon Knight is just talking to itself and fighting himself and you know, that's what it looks like, but he's really fighting one of those things. That's why when he was looking at the, um, <clears throat> that's why when he was looking at the, um, the videotape, it didn't show it because you can't see it. Only he could see it. So that's why they basically fired him from his job, basically talking about he need mental health, mental help or something like that or something some craziness and they gave him the brochure but but he didn't need that job anyway he hated it he just he just went there just to be there and stuff so that was just a push to get him out the door but um you know 
but Steve was talking to the guy and he was just taking it as, oh, this guy's crazy. You know, he, he's not giving anybody a choice. <laughs> he's just going to kill whoever with, he's just going to judge people when he don't even know the reasoning behind the judging. He's just judging people. Which he has a which he has a right to. He's basically judging people and seeing if they um if they go along with like are they um are they um do they have any good morals or they have bad morals and what Steve was saying was like you don't even know because you, how are you gonna judge kids? You can judge adults, but innocent kids or people that's young, like you gotta give them an option. They don't know any better and you know that's when it went left. <laughs> Then they had the black cop. They got her looking like the dark-skinned Jada. <laughs> you know, so, hey. We'll see, man. I am loving this series, man. This series looks real good. I'm loving it. I think it's going to be, um, I think it's going to be one of the best ones so far. I just know it's better than damn, um, what you call it, Hawkeye, man. Hawkeye was so disappointed. And then you got LB saying, no, yeah, Hawkeye was all right. I'm like, Hawkeye was trash. <laughs> Hawkeye was trash, dog. It didn't get interesting until the um until Natasha's sister came. Scarlett Johansson's sister from um, the Black Widow movie came. That's when it kicked off. Other than And then even when she was there, it still didn't kick off. It was very, very me. <laughs> like very mid. So, you know, we'll see, man. Let me know in the comment sections, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share this. Hit that notification bell to select all to receive upcoming notifications. And if y'all love what y'all hear, y'all can donate to the page by going to, um, by, um, you know, going to my, um, ugh, I can't even get it out. <laughs> going to my description box and hitting the link to my cash app where you can donate whatever your heart's desire. And when we have a live again or um, what do you, a live or a premiere video, you guys can super chat. So, you know what I'm saying? Thank you guys, man, for your li for listening, for your love and your blessings, man. And tell me in the comment section what you think about Moon Knight after the first two episodes. Thank you for listening. We out. Deezy.